Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for bringing all of us safely to church. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for the Sabbath. Help us to remember you. Help us to spend time with you today. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Amen. Please be seated. Don't forget the Sabbath the Lord our God has made. Number 388. 388. Don't forget the Sabbath, the Lord our God has blessed. Of all the weak, the brightest, of all the weak, the best. It brings repose from labor, it tells of joy divine, it speaks This morning, number 330, 330, take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Take my hands and let them move at the impulse of the, thy love. Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to But Laura.
always only for my King. Take my lips and let them be filled with messages from Thee. Take my silver and my gold, not a mite would I withhold, not a mite would I withhold. Take my will and make it thine, it shall be no longer Take my love, my Lord, I pull at its feet, its treasure soul. Take myself and I will be ever only all for thee, ever only all for thee. Number 625. 625, I'm pressing on the upward way, new heights I'm gaining every day. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. I'm pressing on the upward way, new heights I'm gaining every day, so praying as I'm onward bound, Lord plant my feet on higher ground, Lord lift me up and I shall stand by faith on heaven. Some may dwell where these are bound. My prayer, my aim is higher ground. Lord, lift me up and I shall set by faith on heaven stable land. A higher plane than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. I want to live. Above the world, though Satan's thoughts at me a hurl, for faith has caused the joyful sound, the song of saints on higher ground. Lord, lift me up and I shall stand by faith on heaven, sail a land, a higher plane. I want to scale the utmost height. I want to scale the utmost height and catch a gleam of glory bright. But still I pray to let the fall. Lord, plant my feet on higher. Chorus for the last time. Lord, lift me up and I shall stand. By faith on heaven, save land, a higher plane than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher. Lord, lift me up and I shall stand. Lord, lift me up and I shall stand. By faith on heaven, save land, a higher plane. Lord, plant my feet on high.
Won somebody say amen? Amen. amen? amen. Praise the Lord this morning. Number 125 is a song of continuation. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. Number 125. So stand. We invite you to stand. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart be And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the earth, the Savior reigns. Let men their songs employ. While fields and floods, rocks, hills and plains, repeat the sound in joy. Repeat the sound in joy. Repeat, repeat the sound in joy. No more let sin and sorrow grow. No thorns infest the ground. He comes to make his blessings flow. For us the curse is found. For us the curse is found. For us, for us, the curse is He rules gone. the world. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and one and wonders of his love. Amen. We remain standing and we seek the Lord in prayer. Let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, this morning we want to thank you for the goodness which you will have shared with us during the course of the week. Rising us up this morning, O oh God, where we can experience your goodness, where we can walk in your light, light which you have shown in our path, O oh God. We want to thank you, O oh God, for the Sabbath day where we can reflect on your goodness, where we can rejoice together, O oh God. We pray that as we rejoice, our hearts will be in tune with you and we rejoice in the truth, knowing that you died to save us from our sins, you love us, and you come in one day to take us home. Heavenly Father, we want to ask that what will be done and said today will be done to bring honor and glory to your name. And men and women will see you high and lifted up and be drawn to you, God. We pray that you'll open the eyes of our minds, O God, that we will reflect your goodness. And Heavenly Father, we want to ask that your will be done in our lives. So continue to bless us, we pray, in Jesus' holy name. Please be seated. Happy Sabbath, church. Oh, yes, Jesus invites us to his banqueting table. His banner over us is his love. Welcome, brothers. Welcome, sisters. Welcome, friends. As we take part in this wonderful feast, let us enjoy the rose of peace. Peace of mind, peace of heart, peace of soul. Let us share the rose of letters. Let us be kind. Let us be compassionate. Let us love one another. As one big family, sitting together, 
Let us be thankful to God, our Father, and let us be happy in Jesus, our Savior. Welcome to everyone. So this morning, when we come to worship in church, it is all about Jesus. Don't you agree with me? Oh, yes, it is all about Jesus. And so for our feature today, it will be done by some of our members in the form of singing and poem. So at this time, without further ado, I'm going to call on Sister Shola to give us the first rendition. Good morning, church. My song this morning, it is a song that I hold dear to my heart. When I roll back from 2019 and where the Lord has brought me from, and his healing power on my life. I said, just only sit and sing. It's a wonder. God loves me. There's a wonder in sunset at evening. The wondrous sunrise I see. But the wonder Amen, amen. Great wonder that God loves us. No matter, sometimes we behave naughty. Thank God for his love. At this time, we'll hear from Sister Annis. Good 
anyone in charge? It's amazing and incredible, but it is as true as can be. God loves and understands us all, and that means you and me. His grace is all sufficient for both the young and old, for the lonely and the timid, for the brash and for the bold. His love knows no exceptions, so never feel excluded. No matter who or what you are, your name has been included. And so, no matter what your past have been, trust God to understand. And no matter what your problem is, just place it in his hand. For in all of our in loneliness, this great God loves us still. He loves us since the world began, and what's more, he will always will. Thank you very much, Sister Annis. And you notice that the theme is the love of God going straight out to all of us. At this time, we are going to hear from Sister and Brother Top. Good morning, everyone. Pleasant Sabbath. In the land of fearless name lies a city for square. It shall never pass away, and there is no night yet. God shall wipe away all tears. There's no death, no pain, no fears. And they come, no time but yes, for there is no night yet. All the gates of falls are made in the city for square. All the street red calls are laid. And there is no night yet. God shall wipe away all tears. There's no death, no pain, no fears. And they come, and there is no night yet. God shall wipe away all tears. There's no death, no pain, no fears, and they come, no time but yes, for there is no night yet. There they need no sunshine bright in that city for square. For the lamb is all the light, and there is no night yet. God shall wipe away all tears. There's no death, no pain, no fears. And there come no time but yes. For there is no night yet. God shall wipe the well tears. There's no death, no pain, no fears. Oh, there come 
not time but yes, for there is no night yet. Thank you, brother and sister Top. Oh yes, because of God's love, he has gone to prepare a place for us. He's the wonder in my soul today. He's the one who rolled the clouds away. That's the kind of God he is. He will give you everything you need. And your hungry, hungry soul he'll feed. That's the kind of God he is. Let me tell you the reason why I love him so. I don't care. I want the whole world to know. Healing the sick. Raising the dead, making the people well, sight to the blind, speech to the dumb, so that they can tell. That's the kind of God he is. That's the kind of God he is. Yes, friends. Yes, brethren. That's the kind of God he is. At this time, we'll hear from sister and brother Prescott. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sabbath. Testing, testing. Testing. When the music fades and all is stripped away, and I simply come, longing just to bring. Something that's of worth that will bless your heart. I'll bring you more than a song, for a song in itself is not what you have required. You search much deeper within through the way up here you looking into my heart I'm coming back to the heart of worship and it's all about you it's all about you Jesus I'm sorry Lord for the thing I've made it when it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. King of endless worth, no one could express how much you deserve. Though I'm weak and poor, I have is yours every single breath I bring you more than a song for the song in itself is not what you have required you search much deeper within through the way things appear you're looking into my heart i'm coming back to the heart of worship and it's all about you and it's all about you jesus i'm sorry lord for the thing i've made it and it's all about you 
It's all about you, Jesus. I'm coming back to the heart of worship. And it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I've made it. And it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. If we had time, I would have asked you all to just repeat it. But in spite of time, we are going into our lesson study right now. And let us all remember, it is all about Jesus. And as we go through the rest of this year, let us keep in mind, it is all about Jesus. Shall we stand as we pray before our lesson? Let's stand. Let's bow our heads. Eternal and Heavenly Father, with thankful hearts, we approach you once more. We are happy, O oh Lord, that we can be in church to worship you in spirit and in truth. As we go into our lesson, we pray, O oh God, that you will guide our thoughts, our mind, and help that as we discuss your word, O oh God, we may have good ideas and we will share it with one another. Teach us, Lord, day by day, and help us to remember that while we are living, it is all about you. And we need to serve you and love you. So, Lord, continue to be with us, we pray with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name, amen. everyone. Our Sabbath school this week will be done. Our Sabbath school this week will be done in our classes. So I will ask the teachers to please take your position so that we can start our classes. Now, senior one, Brother Morgan's class, you will be streaming the Sabbath school this morning. So, yeah, please come up to the front. The youth class, you'll be meeting outside, so can you go where the Colville is waiting for you? I hope all of us are prepared to take part in our yeah, in our in, in our discussion. Because this is this is a very very important lesson that we are going to study today. And we'll Yeah, 
hearing me? You, you, you hearing me now? Yeah, is it? The noise. Yeah, the mic. Yeah, this mic. Yeah, this mic. You. All right. Yeah, this. Yeah, this mic is high, so you could. It's being streamed, so you you can you can you can hear me. Now, this week's lesson is talking about end time deceptions, and we got to be really aware of what is taking place in our world today, because the end time deceptions. Can go back it's up, up from upstairs. I don't know if. if So the, the end time, the you want me to pick up the mic? You are hearing, you are hearing me? The end, the end time deceptions can be so real that it seems as if it is true. Because we are living in a world today where deceptions are so near to the truth that if you do not know what you believe in, you will believe a lie. Because the deception of Satan is so relevant that we are caught up in the process of truth and error, of falsehood and of truth. And our memory text, which is taken from First Second Corinthians eleven fourteen, says. And no wonder, even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So it is not strange if his ministers also disguise themselves as ministers of righteousness. The end will match their deeds. Now, the Bible says that Satan has the power to disguise himself as an angel of light. So if you do not know the truth, when, when Satan comes with his disguises, you will believe a lie instead of believing the truth. That's what the Bible says. You must believe, you must know what you believe because when once you know what you believe and Satan comes with his lies, you will be able to distinguish truth from error because truth and error do not mix. They do not mix. That is why we are living in a world today where millions, millions are believing the mortality of the soul. So that when you die, as we study the whole quarter so far, when you die, you come, your soul go to heaven. That's why some people believe, and you come back in some other form, as the Hindus do believe. We're going to go through what some people believe and what the Bible teaches all about death and the deception. Now, on sun, on mon Sunday, it's talking about the, the, the last part. Okay. During this week, we'll consider some end-time deceptions, including mysticism, near-death experiences, yeah. incarnation, necromancy, and ancestor worship, and others. Yeah. Maybe um, stress a little bit on these nearby, are nearby yeah, these, death experience. These are dangerous subjects that we should be aware of, but without exposing ourselves to their influences. You all hearing me now? Anybody want, want to explain what mysticism is all about? It's not that 
If not, I'll read it. I'll just read first part of the Sundays. You all heard me now? Can you say that? Um That's a lie, because you can you when you w when you sleep you can you don't know not even when you sleeping you don't know nothing when you, you don't know nothing yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 we are, we are, we'll, come, we'll come to that. Yeah, we'll come to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Less, yeah. The, l the lesson points that out. Uh, we have, we'll come to that. Yes, brother. Yes, Eastern religion. Yes. Yeah.
Amen. Yeah. Yes. Oh. And reach to a higher level of reality and existence. Okay. And that is us the help of Jesus Christ outside of Jesus Christ and that sort of thing. So you have to be careful with this kind of stuff. Yeah. In mysticism, Jesus is not is never is never is never mentioned. God, God and and His Word is never mentioned in the in people's experiences. They leave God, the Word of God out of it, and also Jesus Christ. They believe what they, they believe what they want to believe, and because they do not adhere to the Word of God, anything man teaches they will believe anything because anybody could come up with all kind of theories because as we study as we look at last last week when that man wrote that poem the Roman Catholic Church take it on board and make a religion a re religious aspect of it Yes, I want Dante, yeah. Yeah, John Miller, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The Yes. Okay. Tell me. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
Somebody thing that I saw here in the quarterly, we speak about will happen. Near, um, near I realize that I realize some of that when um, when she, when the quarterly speak about you could go to those website that you will set up. Yeah. But about three weeks before the Wall Street Center get blocked, I watch and they call it um, they call those people um, they call them again. Um, you can go to them and see things. Mediums. Psychics. That's what psychics. they call it. They call it psychics. And I was watching in America and the morning I was watching them on TV and a lot of people were calling. Mm -hmm. And the guy was saying, oh yes, this is a loved one. Look that mat. Look that puppy. All that is saying in the quarterly you now. Mm -hmm. I already see that on television Tell since this three weeks before the Wall Street Center block. Okay. And when it happened, I said, how come this guy didn't tell the government? This is expected to come. Uh, all right. But these things are happening a long time. We are, we are, we are living in, in an time where people will believe anything that they are, anything yeah, is it that uh, especially especially what is coming from Hollywood. Because when you look, when you look at some of the mo when you look at some of the movies that have been made today and are depicting you no know, one of them is uh, Harry Potter. Uh, you ever look? You, you, you have any, any one of you? No. Tell me, any one of you ever look at Harry Potter, and and see what they're project, projecting? All of that is coming from from Hollywood projecting that a medium, a young man, can have the authority to raise up anything and do anything with a stick. That is Harry Potter. When, when I saw that sexy boy, that is coming straight from hell because the devil is so deceptive and so cunning that he's bringing up all these things and using men to, to make movies that promoting life after death. Yes, brother. One of, one of the um, terms used there is necromancy. Necromancy, yeah. yeah, we, yeah we, Yeah, and then the, 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 yeah, that, yeah, that, that is on that is on, that is on Wednesdays, Wednesdays and necromancy, and uh, we, well, um, yes, well, I necromancy. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Uh. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Inside the book. Okay. Now let me yeah, let me let me give you an experience that we had in our in in our in our village. When I, when, I, when I was young, there was a man up there, we had a black book. And the book says, when he started to read the book, go further from here at your own risk. And the man, the man went and read that, 
and that drive him stone crazy. He, he went he ended up in the mental asylum. When he came back out, he came back out a few years and then he went back again. Never saw him again since I went away. He became crazy because the devil took over his mind completely and he was doing, and he was doing things that I remember three men trying to hold him down when he was when he crazy. And he lifted the three of them as you, like a feather, put, the, put them up in the air. Where he get the strength from, we don't know. But because he, he dealt with black magic, and these things do happen. The devil has the power to, as, as we study, to appear as anything. Now you, you take Saul. When Saul went, he, the Lord told him to destroy all the necromancies, all, all, all the witchcraft in, in, in his room. He did that. But now when the Lord left him, what did he do? He sent, for, sent one of his servants to endure to inquire of a medium to bring up back Saul, to bring up back Samuel. Now, who did, who did appear? Did, did, yeah, did, yeah, did Samuel come up? No. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. Was not Samuel? Yes. Yes. Yeah. But you, you will die. Will die. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So did did yeah did it did. Def definitely not. Yeah. Yes, because he the, in in his first way when the Lord told him, yeah, when yeah. the Lord told him to yeah, destroy, but, yeah, but because the whole yeah, but not the, just that you know. I let me based on a lesson missing, but what I saw is that after Saul turned from God mm -hmm. and then God Saul killed so much priests mm -hmm. in one day, the Bible say. God was not answering Saul at all by prayer, by by, by any by means. me by me by me anything. So then, if God not answering somebody, obviously you will try find a way out to go to go you, to source. The, the, the Bible, Bible says, says God answered him nowhere at all. An evil spirit took over his life. But surprisingly, in G White say that that was an opportunity. Yeah, in, in in God's own time, He will answer. Yeah. You, I, 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 because. The, the Bible says that an evil spirit enters Saul. After uh, after God will not did that will not, will not answer him, an evil spirit entered him, and he went and searched for a wizard of Indo. The evil spirit. Now, we are going to look at re re reincarnation. The Bible talks about when you die, you remain in your grave until Christ comes. People teaches, especially the Hindus, teaches that when you die, you come back into something else. Either a plant, an animal, a bird, whatever. And you have six stages before you become a man. Now, I don't know where they get where they get those theories from our religious beliefs, but the Bible. If they, if they, you if you go according to the Bible, you have no prob you have no problem in believing when you're dead. That is it. You have you can't come back and some in somebody and inform and inform anybody as as uh, we studied some weeks ago when the rich man was asking Lazarus. To send somebody to tell his to tell his brethren, hell is and if hell is burning all the time, God is not a loving God, and if you are in heaven, why is Christ coming back here? So we we have to know, we have to know the truth because the truth is that any one of us, your your relative die, you will remain there until Christ come. 
I, ha I had a brother in, in England, and he had some Mormons used to come by him. And he said, many times, when they come, come inside, they, he will see a shadow behind them, walk in, and he never opened the door, his door to them. These people believe in Obia. And even some of our Adventists, as Brother Top said, or, or some of our Adventists believe in Obia. The Bible teaches Obia and is a... What's the necromancy? Necromancy. Because the, the Bible says it's an abomination to God when, when, you, when, you, when you deal with evil spirits. Because don't forget, evil spirits are wrong, you know. Satan, Satan is alive, and some people don't treat him as, an, uh, as, as a person. Yes, but then, uh, Nolly. Use the, yeah, use the, use the mic. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Known to God. For me, yes. Hmm. Worship. Hmm. Uh -huh. Of course not, because they can't hear. Because they can't hear you. Yeah. Yeah, because you, you, your your mind. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Sleep. No. Yeah. Tell me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. On the book of death, yeah. He kept him, that's it. Yep. Mm hmm. That, that, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it happened because, yeah, that, that is why, that, yeah, that is why if, Yes. Yeah. Yes. One, that's why the, the Bible talks about three about, about three books in heaven, and when when you, once your name is there, no matter what they do to with your body. The, I remember one uh, chap who was eating human being. When he was converted and became a Seventh Adventist, he said, he said why, why they eat their loved ones is they feel that the loved ones is part of them as they eat, it, as they eat them. But whether you, you die buried in the grave, born, ashes, 
as Brother Nolly has rightly said, when once your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, then you will come back either to experience life eternal or damnation. If your, li if your name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life and is written in the Book of Death, then have mercy on your soul. That is why it is, it is important that we make sure our names are kept in the Lamb's Book of Life so that if anything was to happen to any one of us, once your name is there, it doesn't matter what they do to your body. It doesn't matter what they do to your body. You will come back to reign with God for eternity. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. This okay. Mm -hmm. No. Outer space. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Power, to, to, yes, and it, and it's, gra it's gradually coming to it. Yeah, it's gradually coming coming to that. It's gradually coming to that. When we are, are bombarded right around the world with all all type of science, you're talking about science, and if you take if you take anything out from the Word of God, you will replace it with anything you want to believe. <laughs> Okay, teachers, we need to wrap up. Yes. Yes. He cannot, he cannot sin. Have mercy. <laughs> well, all right. They, 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 yeah. they want. Yeah. They want. They, they want to. What? What they want to, to promote is one world. What they want to promote is one world order, so that we, so that we, we will become. Under one head in one church, but we 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 know that the word of God will all. The Bible said, "Heaven and earth may pass, but God's word will stand forever." So all we got to make sure that we study the word of God. So when error comes, we will be able to distinguish between truth and error. If you're not grounded in the word of God, when any false doctrine come, you'll succumb to it. Thank you all.
Amen. It's so good when we can sit down and discuss the Word of God. So nice. Watching over Sabbath school and feeling that feeling that I normally feel when I'm up here and the Sabbath school superintendent is pleading with the teachers to stop, but you just keep going on. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Felt good. <laughs> All right. Now, as we continue to do these studies, I hope that it is registering clear to us that the state of the dead is that they're dead and that nothing happens after that. So it doesn't matter what you hear, what you see, what you dream, what you, they're dead. Okay? Now, next week is our extension Sabbath school. Next week is our extension Sabbath school, as well as our distribution of food baskets, right? Or food boxes. And... We're encouraging you to come out here early next week. Now, we will be meeting here at church. We'll be having devotion, and then we will go out in the field and try to reach back by 11, okay? There will be, um, there will be service, um, the lesson, there will be Sabbath school in church for those who cannot. I, I, I'm saying cannot, not would not. <laughs> those who cannot go out, but you would want to remain in church. There will be service in churches in church going on. Now, we have nine persons on our extension Sabbath school list to go out and visit, as well as we, we, we will also be distributing about 25 or so food boxes to members of the community. Some of the persons on the list here might be involved. What we're encouraging is that those persons who are on this list for um, extension Sabbath school, who are, will not be getting a food box, box. The persons who are going to them, if you can take a little token, that will be good. Now, the persons who we have for extension Sabbath school are Brother and Sister Nichols, Sister Amanda David, Sister MacDonald, the Bullocks, that's the Bullock at the bottom of the primary school. Joseph Bullock, I think that is near to Brother Morgan. Yes. Kenneth Williams, that's in Calderidge. Sister Williams, that is Sister Williams up top caller. Yes, Sister Williams top caller. Um, brother and sister, Sister Jacobs and Robert. Yewon and Sister Judia John. Okay? Now, they, they are elders and persons who are assigned to this class. What we will want you to do is to join with these persons as they go out. Some of them will come to you and ask you to come along with them. Right? So, for Sister Nichols, we have the youth class. They will be taking care of the Nichols. Sister Amanda David, we have... Elder John, Marlon John, Sister MacDonald, Brother February, the Bullocks, that's a, at the bottom column, we have Brother Morgan, Joseph Bullock, we have the cars, and persons, of course, will be joining them. Brother Kenneth Williams, that's over in Acres, Brother Olivier, <laughs> yeah, call the which I point over there and say Acres, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, call her it. That'll be Brother Olivier. Sister Williams, that's top caller. We have Brother Laurel Thomas. Sister Jacobs and Brother Robert. We have Sister Brung. And for Sister, Sister Judy John, we have Sister Marcia John. But, so you can join a team Right, or a team might, one of these persons might approach you to come along with them. I trust that we'll come out and go and let persons feel comfortable and nice as we fellowship with each other. As we fellowship with them, as we fellowship with God. I pray that God will continue to bless us as we continue to do his work.
Good morning, church. Good morning, church. It's so good to see us in church this morning. I know I see Brother Green down there. Good to see you. Good to see you in Calder. God has been good, hasn't he? Let me see the hands of all who are so glad they're alive. Come on. You're not glad you're alive? You know, every time I pray, I thank God that he gave me life and he blessed us with whatever we need to sustain that life. But not only that, he gave us this chance to attain spiritual life. And that is a blessing. This morning, I was supposed to be doing promotion on personal ministries because I took last week to do stewardship. I'm not going to take much time because there's something that I need to do. I just want to encourage us, brethren. The year 2023 is going to be on us very, very soon. 2022 has been a good year for us. We were able to have revival, crusade, week of prayer. And I'm looking forward to seeing 2023 being a banner year in this church. You know, we speak about very often, we hear members saying that that's the minister's job. Some of us are teachers, some of us are lawyers, some of us are doctors, some of us are technicians, some of us are construction, uh, um, construction personnel, some of us are drivers. That's your job. That's your career. What you are is a minister. Go read the Bible. Right, Brother Green? The Bible says that we have been called to ministry. And your responsibility and my responsibility to, is to be ministers to everyone we come in contact with. So I'm going to keep on encouraging. That's going to be my mantra during this next year. Well, we haven't had a final voters yet. But if I'm there back as post ministries, that is going to be my mantra for this next year, you're a minister of the gospel. You're called to ministry. Find your niche and make sure you fulfill that responsibility. 70 years God gave to man. He said, I've given you three score years and ten. That's 70 years. And if by virtue of good living you live. But here's the thing. We are right now celebrating 70 years. 70 years of the church in this, in this neighborhood. Come on, put your hands together for call the church. Come on, four people clapping. Come on, everybody should be clapping for 70 years of being in this area. We're celebrating our 70th anniversary, and I'm inviting us to become part of this celebration. When Brother, Brother Morgan talks about his anniversary, he speaks with pride. When Sister Rodney speaks about their many years of being married, they speak with pride. Me a little bit behind them. I'm going to catch up with them one of these days, maybe. But we should be happy that Call the Church has survived 70 years. We're still here. And we will continue to be here. And we will grow. Because this is God's church. And God's church will never die. And here's the thing. Are you part of that growth? Are you part of this growth that we see you here? 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. Until such a time that Jesus comes. And every year, Brother, Brother Marlon, every year from now on, I believe we should have a celebration because we are here. Our celebration, our anniversary celebration will continue into the new year. And what I want to do this morning is to give you, in a nutshell, Sister Josie laughing at me when I said a nut. She asked me, what kind of nut? In a nutshell, what our activities are, Brother Green and family want to invite you to come join us too. Come join us as we celebrate our 70 years. On December 31st, the last day of this year, we're going to be having a homecoming. What are we going to be having? Come on, talk to me. What are we going to be having? A homecoming is not just for those of us who are here. A homecoming is for those who are members of our family who are not around right now. Sister Beulah loves to say that there's a Seventh-day Adventist in every single home in Calder. Let's bring them home. This is where they belong. Let's make sure that we invite somebody to come to church. And I notice that we got a lot of empty seats in the front here. Let's fill them up on December 31st. We're going to be having a guest speaker. It's the last day of the year. Let's make sure that this church is filled. On January, 30, on January 1st, the next day, this church will be going on a picnic. This church will be going where? A little boring, eh? 
I remember when I came back, I came back 22 years ago, and I remember telling the AY department, we had a meeting right in the back room there. I remember telling the young people that we need to plan a picnic. And because I remember when I was growing up, every New Year's Day, college church went on a picnic. I don't know if us, don't know if us remember Temple Arch. Temple Arch used to go dragging us everywhere. And we used to go down to Curtin's Bay, because it's not very good anymore. But we want to have a picnic because when we came back and we planned this picnic, I don't know if Brother Oliver remembered. Sister John, we missed you. Only family that was missing was the John's family. You remember that, Sister John? Sister John's family was in Barbados. And I'm sure if that they were here, they would have been on the picnic because every single. And Brother Tom rolled me up in his son, I couldn't get back out because he sat on me. But we all got there and we had a wonderful time. We continued that, that for a few years, but we've stopped. So this year, January 1st, Call the church, we'll be going on a beach picnic someplace to enjoy ourselves. And we're going to go together as a church. Now some people show up at 1 o'clock, at 2 o'clock, at 3 o'clock. We want to go on a church and maybe hopefully depends on where we go, we will cook. We'll try to get some people to cook. On January 28th, we're planning, Call the church is planning a national social. We're going to, to um, Annesville. And we're going to invite the entire island to join us in what? I remember socials used to be like. We're going back in time. We're going to have a social that reminds us of what socials used to be like. Brother, Brother Green, you remember them days? Great socials. We're going to go to Annesville and have a social. We're going to be planning a trip, a family trip to Waraku. This was supposed to, be, had supposed to have happened during this last year, but it didn't happen. We're going to plan it and we want to make sure that this entire church shows up. And we want to have you invite somebody to come join us. In Rauku, we will let you know the dates. We had also planned a Sabbath in nature where the entire church goes out into nature and have a Sabbath program. We spend the entire day out there. We will calendar that as the time goes by, at the time that's most convenient. But again, we want to have the entire church involved in the Sabbath in nature. We're going to ask you to come. You don't put on your jacket and tie by the top. You come comfortable because we're going to go out in nature. You might come to sit on the grass. Or sit on the beach someplace. <laughs> Top of his jacket. And all of this will culminate in our final program on March 25th, when we wrap up our anniversary, anniversary celebration. And we have a very, very, very special guest speaker, Minati Al Alehu. I'll let you know later on, or somebody will let you know. But family, I want us to be proud of the fact that we're celebrating 70 years. Be proud of the fact that God has been blessing us tremendously. We started in a little cubby hole near to Albandine down there in a little dingy little room. And we moved into a church, and I don't know if many of you remember the small church we had. And now we have this beautiful structure. Said by Pastor James Daniel as one of the most beautiful churches in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. But we need to fill it up. We need to fill it up. Okay? Let's celebrate together this anniversary and let's make sure that as we move forward into 2023, we become very proud of the fact that we're members of the Calder Seventh-day Adventist Church moving forward. Amen? God bless us all today. Happy Sabbath, everyone. As you can see here this morning, there's a, a new look to our church today. This means that our concert that starts at 6 p.m. tomorrow, you got to be here to see it, to see and experience this. Amen? Invite a friend. Song system is already trying to be in lightings. You just can't miss it. We are going to re-transform Calder. A blessing is in store for you. Ensure that you fill this church. And remember that we will be collecting a, a love offering. And the proceeds from this concert will go towards purchasing equipment for the church. Amen? So come out in your numbers tomorrow evening at 6 in the p.m. We are, also, we are also reminded, AY, 
is at 4.30 p.m. tomorrow. AY is at 4.30, uh, this afternoon, sorry. <laughs> AY is at 4.30 this afternoon. Our Wednesday night service continues at 7.15. Oh, AY will be online this afternoon at 4.30. Elder Baptiste will bring the further. Good morning, church. We have a letter here which is coming to us from the Youth Ministries Director. And I will read. It's captioned, We can concert in vestiger service. Greetings and best regards. Our annual weekend concert will be held at Heritage Square at 5.30 p.m. on December 18th. Please come out in your numbers and support this grand event. I'm recommending a candy on the preceding Sabbath, next week's Sabbath, December 17th, in the local churches, churches where members will bring non-perishable items towards this noble cause. The theme for this year is Let's Praises Rise. Heritage Square will be transformed into a worship center and all are invited to come and praise as the Lord has done many things for every one of us this year. Our final investiture service for the year will be held at the Mesopotamia SDA Church on the afternoon of December 17th. The service begins at 3.30 p.m. May God bless you richly. And I believe there's a barrel already in place to do that collection drive. I'm also being asked to announce that the Calder Neighborhood Watch We'll be hosting two events. The first one will be tomorrow at 7 p.m. It will be a bonfire and carol singing, and all the neighborhood is invited and to participate. And then next week, Sunday, on the 18th, there'll also be a concert there at that very spot where they normally light up and have the community activities. So, as members of this community, you are asked to support these events. Thank you very much. We have some business to attend to. We bring in the final reading for our officers for 2023. Right, we bring in a final reading, and after each cluster of members, of persons, like elders, deacons, then you call question right after. All right, I'll ask Sister Bullock to present a reading at this time. Good morning, church. I begin with first elder, Marlon John. Other elders, Alina Batiste, Dave Batiste, Desmond February, Marcia John, Samuel Morgan, Clayton Olivier, Laurel Thomas, Beulah Mark Samuel, Eric February, Elisha Brown. Okay, so if you are following what Brother Marlon said, after each list of names, then if you agree, we call question. So let's hear you. Deacon, head deacon, Clayton Oliver, other deacons, Patrick Job, Samuel Mapp, Sian Oliver, Uriah Peters, Harold Bullock, and Joel Carr. Head deaconess, Kim Bullock, other deaconesses, Jacqueline Bob. Sandra Mapp, Anis Thomas, Pansita Williams, Gracie Bullock, Coral Thorpe, Shola George, and Ceylon Power. Head Church Clerk, Kevin Thomas, Assistants, Daniel Batiste Jackson, Dioma Ka Prescott. Head Treasurer, Dave Batiste, Assistants, Yuri Bob, Daniel Jackson. Children Division Leader, Jennifer Batiste. Assistants, Nicole Bowman, 
Jacqueline Bob, and Keva Thomas. Head Chorister, Damaris Batiste Sylvester. Assistants, Jacqueline Bob, Chanel Ned, Keva Thomas, Daniel Batiste Jackson, Maya John, Tamara Bob, Josine John, Nicole Bowman, Elisha Brown, Marcia John, and Dioma Carr Prescott. Head musician, Colville Thorpe. Assistants, Alina Batiste, Garfield Bowman, Sion Oliver, Norman Thorpe. Head Sabbath School Superintendent, Dioma Carr Prescott. Assistants, Marcia John, Joyce Oliver, Clayshawn Oliver, Henny Bullock, Trishel February, Damaris Batiste Sylvester, Branson Thomas, Elisha Brown, Sion Oliver, Desmond February, and Irene Archibald. Sabbath School Secretary Head, Maya John. Assistants, Maya Bullock, Brittany Nanton, Joel Carr, and Kel Reed Archibald. Vocation Bible Experience Leader, Jennifer Batiste. Education Secretary, Josine John. Assistant, Eric February. Family Ministries Leaders, Desmond and Trishel February. Children Ministries Leader, Jennifer Batiste. Women Ministries Leader, Jacqueline Bob. Assistant, Nicole Bowman. Other assistants, Elisha Brown and Ceylon Power. Men Ministries Leader, Marlon John. Assistant, Andres Prescott. People with Disabilities Coordinator, Beulah Map Samuel, Assistants, Anna Bullock, and Marcia John. Personal Ministries Leader, Laurel Thomas, Assistant, Eric February, Personal Ministries Secretary, Bradley Noel. Interest Coordinators, Laurel Thomas, Samuel Morgan. Community Service Director, Marcia John, Assistants, Elisha Brown, Nicole Bowman. Religious Liberty Leader, Dave Batiste. Health Ministries Leader, Damaris Batiste Sylvester. Assistants, Tamara Bob, Chanel Ned, Colville Top. Auditor, Maria Burnett. Publishing Coordinator, Trishel February. Stewardship Leader, Laurel Thomas, Assistant, Maria Burnett. Adventist Youth Society, Head, Eric February. Assistants, Josine John, Daniel Batiste Jackson, Keva Thomas, Chanel Ned, Maya John, Lois Kerr, Ceylon Power, Bradley Noel. Pathfinder Club Director, Desmond February, Assistant Daniel Batiste Jackson. Adventure Club, Club Director, Keva Thomas. Communication Leader, Daniel Batiste Jackson. Assistants, Dave Batiste, Yuri Bob, Clashon Oliver, Nicholas Batiste, Eric February, Bradley Noel, Maya John. Technicians, Head, Marlon John. Assistants, Laurel Thomas, Samuel Morgan, Harold Bullock, Joel Carr, and Chanel Ned. This is the end of the report. Amen. So this is our 2023 um, persons that are being elected. Please note that there are a few minor offices still to be filled um, that will be done by the new church board. All right? And the names will be presented to the church eventually. Okay. Um, 
just reminding all heads of departments now that it is past that you can start meeting with your team to plan 2023 the entire year with a budget to present to our treasury department so that it can be brought to the church in early january right thank you so much have a yes Okay, right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Brother Morgan. Right. I, I beg to move that view. Just one second. Okay, right. So, Ella. Sister, Sister Bullock, Ella Thomas, just remind me to read out the names of the church board members who are heads of department. So be, just before we vote on it, let's call out the names of all the departments. The church board members, sorry. Right, well after which we officially vote on it. Okay, these are the names. Marlon John, Clayton Oliver, Kim Bullock, Kevin Thomas, Dave Batiste, Jennifer Batiste, Damaris Batiste Sylvester, Colville Thorpe, Diomaka Prescott, Josine John, Desmond and Trishel February, Jacqueline Bob, Beulah Map Samuel, Laurel Thomas, Marcia John, Eric February, Desmond February, Daniel Jackson, right, so these are the names of the church board, including all elders, all right, including all our elders, right. So we beg to move that these names be accepted for the 2023 officers for 2023 to serve our church. Seconded, seconded. All in favor that we accept all these members as part of our team for 2023, all baptized members should by the reason of your right hand. Thank you very much. Opposed? It is carried. It is carried. Thank you so much for your time and patience. Good. So as I mentioned before, all heads of departments start prepare yourself. We'll have training in early January for the entire team. And right at this time, we're gonna be singing. We're going to have a baby dedication at this time. Jesus loved the little children, all the children of the world. While we prepare for our baby dedication, we invite the parents, guardians, well-wishers to come forward at this time as we have our baby dedication. Oh, Jesus loves the little children. All the children of the world. Okay. 
Love the little children of the world. One more time, Jesus loved the little children. Jesus loved the little children. All the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white. They are precious in his sight. Jesus loved the little children of the world. I'm going to ask those who are supporting the family, if you can come forward, if there's any relative who want to come forward and support the family, then you can do so at this time. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 6, verse 6 to 8, and I'm going to read it, and then I expand on it a little bit. And it says, And these words which I commanded this day shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way. And when thou liest down, and when thou risest up, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. The Lord is saying to parents, teach your children when you sit down, when you rise it up, when you go it out. It is expedient that you teach your children by precept and example. And you cannot teach them if you do not know. You must be acquainted with the word of God and teach your children diligently about Jesus Christ. Because in Matthew, in Matthew chapter 19, verses... In Matthew chapter 19, verses 13 and 14... Children were brought to Jesus, and this is what it says. Then they were brought unto him, little children, that he should put his hands on them and pray, and the disciples rebuked them. But Jesus said, Suffer little children and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of heaven. And in Psalms 127, verses 3 and 7, it says that children is an heritage of the Lord. They do not belong to you. You are not owners of their, of their children. You are their parents. So treat them as such. Don't mistreat them. Treat them and uh, treat her in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Because the Lord is going to require of you. In the text, in Isaiah, it says that the Lord one of these days is going to ask you, what have you done with the one that I gave to you. So you are responsible for the upbringing of your child. Whether he or she, you are responsible. Those of you who have children know what I'm talking about. You got to teach them morning, noon, and night. Don't leave anything unturned, uh, overdone. Let them know of the truth of God. Teach them by precept and example, and you cannot teach them if you do not know. You must be able to know what you are teaching them and teach them the truth. Let them know that God cares and that He is going to hold you responsible for that child. Not your, not your parents, not your mother, not your father. He's going to hold you responsible. So be a good parent in teaching your child in the knowledge of Jesus Christ so that when he come, you'll be able to present him or her before Jesus Christ and he will be able to say, well done, 
thou good and faithful servant because you don't want to lose out of heaven and i know that your children a child do not want to lose out of heaven be an example teach them morning noon and night as i said bind them up when you going out teach them when you come in so that they can remember what they have been taught i will not ask brother olive better take the child and then i'll pray experience to kneel those of you who want to let's bow our heads as we pray o gracious and eternal father the giver of life the one who walks in unapproachable light we come before thy awesome throne this day to give you thanks and praise thank you for this little bundle of joy that has been presented today dear father the parents have come to present this little bundle of joy to you lord accept it and i pray that we will bless her that as she grows up you will protect her as she goes out and comes in provide for her her daily sustenance and provide for the parent the ability to provide for this child in such a way that will be blessing to not only her but the community that she abides in a protector from any evil that the devil will have and place in her pathway as she goes and as she goes day by day may she grow in the knowledge of Jesus Christ so that when the time comes and she come to the age of accountability she will be able to accept you as lord and savior bless the parents bless them and keep them faithful dear god help the mother to bring this child to church Sabbath of the Sabbath, so she can go to know you, who to know is life eternal. Father, because we know, dear God, that time is not on our side. We are gradually, gradually running out of time. Help each one of us as church members to rally around this mother and to do whatever it takes to make this child life a happy one, an enjoyable one, and that she will grow up to know you, who to know, as I said earlier, is life eternal so bless this child provide for her her daily sustenance and lord when thou comest in thy glory may this child with her parents and all of us be on that show that look like glass where we'll ne never more to roam spend eternity with you because we ask it all in the wonderful name of jesus christ our lord and savior let the church say amen, amen. and amen i'm going to ask now the Church Clark to present this certificate to the mother. Congratulations on behalf of the church, and God has truly blessed you. Raiden Marco Young, you've been dedicated to God at the Calder Estate Church on the 10th of December, 2022. And on behalf of the Children Ministries Department, we welcome you and we encourage you to bring Raiden to church so that he can grow up and learn of God. God bless you. Our opening song, sorry, our hymn of adoration this morning is number two, All Creatures of Our God and King.
All creatures are for God and King. Lift up your voice with us and sing. Alleluia, alleluia. Stand. All morning sun and gold and beam. And silver moon with softer gleam. Oh, praise him. Oh, praise him. morning again everyone I want to bid you all a hearty welcome here to church this morning I trust that what you've benefited from so far would have been a blessing to you and I know they are lots more in store so I'm looking in our congregation and I'm seeing some new faces, newish faces, faces that I haven't seen in a long time. And I want to say wel a special welcome to this group of people. So if you are visiting here with us for the first time, you've never been to call the church before, just raise your hand. Let me see you. You're visiting for the first time. Okay, I have my sister at the back there. I want somebody to just reach out to her, give her a lovely call, the welcome. Our sister at the back. And then I have my sister over here next to Natalene. Um, who? Natalene, you're visiting? <laughs> yeah, ne next to Natalene and uh, good. And then we have young sister Joyce. Good. And those of you who have visited with us before, I want to say welcome to you. Just wa wave your hand so that we can see you. Wave your hand. Those who are visiting with us and you're visiting now with us again. Okay, you wave your hand already. Good. <laughs> All right. Welcome to Call the Church and feel welcome this morning to our regular members. 
we say welcome Natalie it's good to have you here with us for the first time since you back is the first time oh the second time is the first time I'm seeing you so it's like the first time go on welcome and continue I, I heard the list just now I didn't hear your name yeah we gotta do something about that you know put your name somewhere go on May God continue to bless us as we continue to fellowship with him and enjoy what he has in store for us. Welcome, everyone. Oh, I forgot a special set of people. I can't go without doing a welcome. To those of you who are viewing with us online, I want to say welcome to you. Some of you have been here with us every week throughout this year. And even as we come down to the end of the year, feel a part of always and keep coming as you continue to fellowship with us. God bless you all as we wait for him, for what he has in store. Good morning again, everyone. Our scripture let's, for this morning is taken from Proverbs 18, verses 16. And I read in your hearing. A man's gift make it room for him and bring it him before great men. Here at the scripture reading. Amen. As we prepare for prayer, we prepare for prayer. I encourage you to join in your heart in any way you can. And as we sing our prayer song, Now, dear Lord, as we pray, I pray that you would pray in your hearts as I pray for you, as I pray for everyone, as I pray for myself. And may the Lord fill this place. And I encourage you to take a posture that you feel comfortable with to pray, pray as we reach out to God in prayer. Now, dear Lord, as we pray. Father, we thank you for bringing us safely through another week. And even though, and even as we're here on this last day of the week to glorify your name as you say we should, we thank you for the blessings that you would bring to us. We thank you for the way you've kept us. We thank you for the way you've provided for us. We thank you for the way you have protected us our families and we pray Lord even as we pause here today that you will be with us you will fill us for what is to come ahead I pray in a special way Lord that you may forgive us for where we may have misrepresented you in any form during this week I pray that you will cleanse us of anything Lord that is preventing us from being drawn closer to you and help us Lord even as we pour out our hearts to you today that you will help us 
to live the life that you would have us live. Take control of everything around us. So we're living in desperate times. We're living in times where human lives does not seem to matter much. People killing each other easily. An increase in crime, an increase in prices of everything in the, su in the supermarkets and the gas station. But Lord, we know you're in charge and you will take care of your children. You've said in your word that you've never seen the righteous forsaken or the seeds begging bread. So we know regardless of what goes on around us that you are taking care of us. and You will provide for us. Be with the sick among us today, Lord. Those of who are under the hearing of my voice, I pray, Lord, that you will reach out today, that you will touch the individuals who are having health problems. Whatever it is, the Father, reach out and touch. Remove the sickness. Be with those, Lord, who have families who are facing serious problems when it comes to health. I pray that you will touch, you will heal, you will grant comfort. I pray that you will be with those who are at home. They cannot come out to church because of some ailment. And even as your word reached them, you've been with him in the preparation of his word. And even as he's about to speak, I ask that you will speak to him. I ask that you will speak through him so that all of us will be blessed. All of us will receive. So continue to take full control of this service of our lives, we pray in Jesus' name.